I swear I've been trying to start this vlog all day uh, Or this DIY all day First uh, Johannes had uh, his first long On YouTube uh, It's almost like 4.30 I think And uh, my husband is coming home soon I have a really fun project today. Um, oh, baby, not the camera. Um, Johannes has a favorite hat, but it's not like one of those that goes down around the neck. In Danish, it's called a uh, elephant who. I can uh, try and find a word, maybe that's a good word for that type of hat here. Um, but the thing is, it goes like down around the neck uh, and then you just have this like opening in the front. Um, and it's really good because it stays on. His current favorite hat keeps falling off or keeps like going down into his eyes when he's like turning his head in the stroller. Um, so it's a really good one and it's like a light one, um, but it's not optimal. So I figured I'm gonna make him one. Um, apart from that, I also wanted to show you how I do patterns. Um, I think that it's like when you first get the hang of sewing, if you figure out like how to um, draw up the pattern yourself, you can save both a lot of time and a lot of money. And if you really find a pattern that you just truly love, then you just uh, spend it on that one. It's a fairly common shaped uh, hat, so I've just looked up on the internet, looked at several different models and drawn some inspiration, and now I'm gonna make my own. Right? Okay, let's do this! So, I have my machine, of course. I'm gonna do this um, project with uh, mainly an overlock stitch, so that it's uh, stretchy, or a zigzag if you have a zigzag. I have my trusted uh, notebook uh, where I do all my um, YouTube planning and my idea drawings and uh, all that stuff. Measuring tape because I've been measuring Johannes' head. <laughs> and the fabrics. I mean, look at this. It's a really nice just cotton jersey uh, fabric. I found this one uh, really cheap. I thought the ice creams would be smaller, but I actually don't mind it. And then uh, the other fabrics are with like elephants. And I don't know if you can see, but it has like a little bit of a quilted pattern in it. Woo! Baby! What are you doing? <laughs> okay, it has like a little bit of a, like a quilted um, pattern in it. And I figured it would be quite fun to have a hat that you can turn uh, inside out. Uh, so it has ice creams on the inside, like a little bit of winter, and then it has elephants on the outside, a little bit of summer. So, I've been uh, measuring his head, like I said, and um, this is the design for the hat, like seen from the side. So this will be the opening for the face, and then this whole... Um, yeah, structure is so that it goes down and hugs his neck and the hat doesn't twist when he wears it. I've measured his uh, head size. It was a 47 and a half. So my seam allowance, uh, with seam allowance, I will do it in a 49 and a half. I've measured like across uh, the scalp, like um, on top of his head. I figured that 10 centimeters should be enough to make this whole part. And then I also measured from like his front head, like his forehead, where I want the, the hat to start and then how long it would have to be to uh, hug the neck all the way down to, yeah, basically between his shoulder blades. Um, yeah, I also took a measurement around his face, <laughs> um, just so I would know how long I would have to make um, like the, the border of the opening for the face. Um, and then I also measured from approximately on the side of his head where I know that this one ends um, all the way down past his ears down to his shoulder. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna cut uh, two pieces of um, these parts in both fabrics, so four pieces in total, and then one of these in each fabric, and then um, one of each of these in each fabric. All right, let's get uh, let's get started.
morning people it is a new morning and you just saw me draw up this pattern um, obviously the hardest part was this one but this is just the uh, uh, this is the part that will cover the um, edge of the face opening and this is the uh, top and neck part like in the middle okay um, no, but the hardest part was the other part, like this, uh, the side parts. Um, I had taken some measurements, but I had to kind of go with the flow a little bit and also just look at it like from an eye measurement perspective to see what I think would fit. Um, I did think that it would be way too long if I went all the way down to my measurement. I also think that the shoulder would have been way too high if I would have uh, ended up on the spot right there in the middle. I don't know if you can see it. So it was a little bit of an adjustment game, um, but the face opening is exactly uh, half of what this one is. So, uh, so I think that's gonna work really well. Let's uh, cut these pieces out and uh, see if we can assemble it just a little bit. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I've cut them uh, them out all the three pieces and I've just realized that uh, I've made a huge mistake <laughs> I haven't calculated um, here I haven't calculated for this part also filling like on the top so we're gonna have to uh, draw a new one of these unfortunately but um, that's why it's good you do it in paper before you do it in uh, fabric <laughs> So as you can see, these two are quite different, uh, but I think uh, this one is a winner. I'm gonna cut this out, and then uh, I'll try it on uh, Johannes, and uh, or like I'll hold it up to his face <laughs> um, together with uh, with this one. And if it all fits, then I think we're gonna start cutting some pieces. Hello, hi, quick update. Yes, I got myself together, <laughs> but that's not what I want to say. Um, I've cut the first two pieces because. Um, yeah, I've cut the first two pieces of the hat, the side, what do you call it, like the side version. And I've decided to actually, uh, first of all, I've given it like a centimeter of seam allowance or half an inch, I guess. Um, but I've also decided to let this uh, shoulder filling be, um, I haven't cut it because I want to sew, uh, I want to sew the version of the hat with the middle section like over and uh, the two sides and then I want to try it on Johannes and then adapt to where I think the shoulder gap should be. Um, the thing is that when you are like taking inspiration from patterns and you're like making your own, um, sometimes you can do these types of things to be sure that you don't waste fabric uh, and that you also get the pattern adjusted like exactly to what you want. Um, what I would do then after is just trace the piece uh, when I'm done measuring. So that's just what I wanted to say. I'm gonna keep uh, cutting and when I have like all the pieces uh, and all the adjustments, I'll, uh, I'll start showing you how to put it together. some needles in to close the gap on the front to see how it looks and how it seems to fit and um, yeah I'm very confident that this will actually be perfect so I think um, I think what I'm gonna do is that I'm actually also gonna cut the other pieces um, and um, and then we're just gonna jump to where the other piece, the, the blue fabric also looks like this. I'm gonna close this up here up front and then I'm gonna, yeah, like I said, cut the other blue pieces as well and then I think we're just gonna move to um, assembling it so it's able to turn inside out. Uh, just also wanna say that I'm gonna trim uh, the seam allowance because I want it to be as smooth as possible so there's no bulks and stuff uh, on the inside on his head, so. I'm gonna do that Back again, the battery died. <laughs> But uh, like I said, I'm gonna check back with you when I have two pieces uh, just like this one and I've also cut the uh, edge that's gonna be around the face. Hello again, it's uh, a lot of hours later. <laughs> We've been uh, into the city today and had some good time. But uh, now I am back on the project with the hat. Um, I've sewn both of the, yeah, the inside and the outside. Um, I guess we're calling this the inside just for easy 
I've sewn the inside and the outside. I've sewn them um, along the long seam and I've also sewn them in the front. Uh, so they look the same now. What we're gonna do for the next step is that we're gonna put the inside into the outside, uh, right sides together. So you have the wrong side out, the wrong side out, and then the right sides together. Um, I'm gonna match these up so they, um, so they, all the three seams are matched. Um, and then before I sew that together, I'm actually gonna do um, the border around the face. Um, I have that one right here. What I've already done is that I've just put uh, the, its right sides together uh, and I've sewn along the long edge. Um, now I'm gonna put the right sides together again. Um, like this. So we have the, the loop. I'm gonna put it and then I'm gonna sew it like that. And once that is done, I'm gonna turn it into the like this and then I'm gonna top stitch it along the edge but that's when it's a circle when that is done I'm gonna insert that into in between the outer and the inner layer uh, I've chosen to do the design so that the blue layer will be facing the gray side and the gray side will be facing the blue side but uh, yeah let's get this done so we can uh, get to assembling it Okay, so I've just pinned it um, and what I've done is actually that I've pinned uh, the pins like on the long edge so instead of that way I've pinned them that way and I do that sometimes when I'm a bit unsure if what I'm pinning together is gonna look right so I pin it like this and then I turn it the way I want to turn it like sometimes you're just unsure when I turn this right sides out is it gonna be the way I think it's gonna be or is it not gonna be the way I think it's gonna be so I've pinned it like this because that's more of like a seam way um, and then if it's right I just go back and I put them yeah, on the same spot but the right way when I'm gonna sew. So it looks like this, we have the inner side on the inside with the wrong side out, we have the outside with the wrong side out and then between those two we have um, the border that's gonna go around the face um, and that one is actually pinned uh, right sides out so that one is pinned the way it's gonna look uh, from the outside what happens then once we've sewn this is that we pull the inside uh, out again so that we have like basically two sides kissing <laughs> um, and then yeah, you can do it either way, but then I'm gonna turn the right side, the outside, uh, over uh, the inside again um, so that we can see what it will actually look like once it's sewn. And it looks the way it's supposed to, <laughs> with the colors matching the way I wanted them and um, also <laughs> the border actually being placed where it's supposed to be placed. So it looks like this. And then you have the inside of the hat, the outside of the hat. Um, and the last part we're gonna fix is then the shoulder around the neck. I actually tried it on Johannes today and I do think that um, it doesn't really need the shoulder gap. This will just be a little bit like a um, neck cloth for him. It will be extra warmth around the neck. Um, so once we have sewn this seam, we're gonna go in and we're gonna um, fix these edges. But uh, yeah, that will be the last part of the project. So we'll get to that later. Okay, hi guys. I'm whispering a little bit because the baby just got put to bed. So I actually can't sew anymore tonight because I'm afraid the machine is gonna wake him up. It's just outside of our bedroom. I have our dining room table, so I think it's gonna wake him up. But I just wanted to show you. Um, this is what the hat looks like right now um, it has the border like this 
I'm actually hoping that it will give a little bit of shade from the sun as well, but we'll see. But it's just a nice border. Also, if there's drool or anything, it's like catching it before it hits the clothes. Um, and it can be folded back as well. And then for the bottom, I've just decided to fold in the two fabrics and then, um, yeah, pin it all together. It's a little bit of a cheat version, um, but I think it's gonna work really well and it will also be a nice uh, top stitch. Um, I will, however, do it in a really nice like zigzag around it because this part needs to stretch. I forgot to mention that all the stitches I did on the border and also sewing the border to the hat I did with a straight stitch but uh, but yeah I'm gonna sew this one first thing in the morning you get to see it on the little prints how it turned out and uh, yeah I'm uh, excited to finish the project but it will be tomorrow morning out really nice and um, I'm in love with the fabric and I'm in love with the form and everything but um, I didn't calculate the fact that the blue fabric is a little bit thicker I didn't calculate that into my seam allowance so you please do that <laughs> um, the gray hat fit perfectly when I tried it on Johannes but together the hat is too small I'll give it to a friend and um, yeah if you make this one please let me know I'm gonna make a new one but a little bit bigger then so see you in the next video <laughs> I sounded depressed yeah. god damn it I'll just have to make a new one